this time, I'd like to bring the meeting to order, the Ford Avenue Redevelopment Agency meeting, February 26, 2019, 7 p.m. at Carl Hall, Middletown. Um, roll call, Kathy. Okay. Um, do I just read who's here? Or you can read them all. Read them all. Read them all? Yeah. Uh, Miss Agle? She's not there. Uh, okay, I don't know how, so how do I put it? Sianza. Gisela Sianza. Sianza? Here. Uh, Mr. Citro? No. Mr. Gayet? Here. Councilman Radlinski? Here. Mayor Steber? Present. Okay. And Ms. Weisenberger? So we have four present. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, we're going to salute the flag. Aye. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, meeting notes needs to be read. Yes. Let the minutes reflect that adequate notice of the holding of this regular meeting of the Ford Avenue Redevelopment Agency was provided by the adoption of a resolution and the posting, filing, and forwarding of a copy of the same to the official borough newspapers, Home News Tribune, and Star Ledger Publishing Companies on February 23, 2019. Public participation in this meeting will be permitted during public hearings and after the agenda of the scheduled matters has been completed. Okay, we're going to, uh, minutes from uh, January 15, 2019. Move that the minutes be accepted as typed. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Bills and claims? I have a comment on those claims. Uh, there was a change. Uh, originally, we were going to receive $25,000 for replenishment funds from uh, Mr. Warai. We received $12,000. Um, that was the change. So I need a motion for bills and claims. I move to pay the bills. Second. Second. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Uh, Chairman, if I have no, no report tonight, Correspondence? Do we have any correspondence? No. No, Mr. Chairman. Okay, old business. Anything on the business? No, Mr. Chairman. We're going to move into new business. Mr. Mr. Chairman, um, we have a, a need before we go into the new business items. Um, they involve a matter of pending litigation. Uh, so if you uh, permit, I'll read a resolution authorizing the redevelopment agency to enter into closed session. Whereas Milltown Ford Avenue Redevelopment Agency has a need to discuss matters involving SB Building Associates LP et al. versus Borough of Milltown et al. docket number MIDL 0099439-06. And whereas the Open Public Meeting Act provides that a public body may exclude the public from those portions of a meeting and discuss certain matters in closed session, including any pending or anticipated litigation where the pop public body is or may become a party, including matters falling within the attorney-client privilege. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Milltown Ford Avenue Redevelopment Agency that the agency enter closed session to discuss uh, the above-mentioned matters. Be it further resolved that the discussion held in closed session will be disclosed to the public upon return to open session. So we a motion to uh, adopt that resolution, a second, and then a vote. vote, vote, vote. I need a motion on a resolution. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, due to uh, litigation under that is uh, currently we are involved in, we have to ask the public to step outside for a while. Thank you. Please go. Uh, Mr. Cahill. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, during the uh, 
uh, closed session, uh, I briefed the agency members on the status of the existing litigation uh, that was mentioned in the resolution uh, authorizing um, the executive session, uh, indicated that uh, for the professional services contract for appraiser, uh, that there, are, there were no responses to the RFP, excuse me, there was one response to the RFP, and for the professional services contract RFP for planner, uh, there were no responses. Um, in light of that, in order to get a larger pool of um, uh, potential candidates for appraiser, um, the uh, developer has asked that that be carried. Um, and for the planner, of course, we don't have uh, a contract to award. So items B and C, um, require no action of the agency at this time. Um, and for resolutions A, D, and E, um, I would ask that the board, uh, that the agency uh, entertain those resolutions and vote on them as it seems fit. And this was all, by the way, I should add, this is all impact uh, on the court order from uh, Judge McCormick. Uh, and uh, the requirements of proceeding with the condemnation action. And that's it, Mr. Chairman. So, um, on A, the resolution to authorize extension of payment schedules with D, NJ, TEB, remediation oversight costs, do you have a motion to accept? Aye. Right. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? I have discussion. Any discussion on the motion? No. No discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried by all members. Present. We move on to the uh, resolution to accept proposal of agency environmental engineer for a demolition cost estimate. I move the resolution is adopted. Second. Okay, is there any uh, discussion on this, on the uh, motion? No. no. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carried. By all members present. Uh, our last one, accept a, uh, a resolution to accept the proposal of the agency of environmental engineer for environmental remediation cost estimate. I, I move that that resolution also is adopted. Second. Okay. Any questions? No questions. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All present members, vote aye. Any other comments on Mr. Cale? Uh, no, no further action okay. required under new business. All right. Uh, in that case, we're going to move on to audience comments. Anyone in the audience have anything they would like to say? Good evening, members of the board. Charles Cradiville. I'm from New Brunswick. Uh, with New Brunswick today, and I, I did uh, have just a couple questions. I missed the past couple meetings, so I wanted to understand um, the litigation that was uh, being discussed. Like, for instance, last August in closed session, is that the same litigation that uh, the board went into closed session tonight to discuss, or is this a different new uh, matter? Mr. Chairman, yes, it is the same litigation. The same. Okay. Yeah. And. Uh, I, it was alluded to a, a, a ruling from Judge McCormick that, uh, uh, what exactly is, does that mean for the, uh, the agency? Mr. K. Um, the judge, uh, following a case management conference, entered an order uh, in October of last year, um, set on um, putting <coughs> forward what the parties to the action, so it includes the property owner, uh, it includes the borough, it includes the redevelopment agency and it includes the redeveloper for the site. Um, what actions were required of those entities following a trial that took place uh, beginning in 2017 and it continued uh, with some significant separation of time into the earlier part of 2018. Uh, so under the case management order, there are requirements in, of what the parties need to do uh, by dates certain in, order to proceed to wrap up that case. Um, and the only other question I had was uh, regarding the replenishment funds from uh, uh, 
Uh, Mr. Borite there uh, was alluded to, it's uh, originally supposed to be 25,000, it's less. Uh, why, why the change? Uh, I can't, can't answer that. Um, I know that uh, uh, when the executive director was putting together uh, the, um, the bills and claims for this meeting, uh, there were insufficient funds uh, to cover it in the escrow account. I'll explain that in a second. Um, and um, he uh, reached out to the developer to replenish the escrow account. Um, and for reasons I don't know, um, the developer did not give the full amount that was asked, uh, but gave enough to cover bills and costs for this meeting. Uh, the executive director is not here tonight, so I, I can't give you more detailed answer than that. Uh, the escrow account that I referred to uh, is one that is um, um, uh, established pursuant to the original um, redevelopment agreement that was entered into between the redevelopment agency and the developer um, years ago uh, and was again reestablished when the, re, uh, when the redevelopment agreement was amended in 2013, uh, and it is uh, funded by the developer to cover any and all uh, agency costs that are related to the redevelopment of the site. So when there's a cost incurred by the redevelopment agency, it is the developer's responsibility to uh, maintain that escrow account uh, with funds to cover those costs. Thank you for the thorough answer. Um, uh, only uh, other things, this has something uh, borough matter unrelated to the agency. I'd like to ask Mr. Steber about Mayor Steber after you. So, sure. Yeah, stick around. Thank you. Anyone else uh, have any comments or thing they'd like to say to the development agency? All right, I see none. We'll move on. Members' comments. Any member have any comments or questions? Happy birthday. Future birthday to uh, yeah. the youngest audience member. Oh. Happy birthday. What's your birthday? Soon, Soon enough. <laughs> I heard it was Sunday. 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 All right. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, members' comments, I guess that's it. Um, looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. Motion carried. Aye. 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 Aye.